You know, the white has brought the Bible to Africa, isn't it? The Africans bring the word of God back to the white, but the white refuses. it. The white refuses. it. Now I want to ask, I will tell you also, anything which you see the white are doing is not according to the scripture. Where it's coming from, always I say, look into the history. I sometimes I get confused with things. Why? If I like to climb the mountains and the woman will be among, I know for the mountain section will be more better to dress with trousers. But then I will look into the history. See the old, old, old movies from the 18th century as they start with movies. You will see women. You will see white women even in the winter season well dressed. You see even women climbing the mountain with well dressings, not trousers. So it's the question now where this fashion is coming from? From Satan. Always I say fashion is fascination and the fascination is attraction. And if you're attracted, you will be blind because you look into the fashion which will give you blindness. about football. Think about where football is coming from. Everything which has a fan, a fan, fanatic, hallelujah, fanatic natural things, fanatic ones, they are fanatic people. They have, the devil have fans. You are a fan of Jesus. You are a child of God. It's a quite different thing, isn't it? Yeah. So you see inside. If you listen to those men who say about reggae. Reggae, where is coming from? Look into the history. Did you know Bob Marley? Yes. And Peter Tosh? Yes. You know them. Yes. So you are dancing to the music. And what are they doing? Are they well dressed with the hair? No. They are not smoking Mariana and cooking all those things. Yes. Is this not the way to the hell? Yes. Is the way to the hell. And do you think that in heaven is reggae? There is no reggae because in heaven is clear words. Reggae doesn't give any clear word. It makes mm, uh, uh, whatever I <laughs> as you are growing as a tree. Cut up the tree and you have the real root in Jesus' name. God bless you all. Grace. Grace. What about the grace of God? Doesn't the grace of God take care? Why are we talking about commandments? Commandments. Commandments. What about grace? You know, sinful preachers who cannot keep themselves in righteousness have found uh, how to use these scriptures to justify themselves. Uh, just like treacherous Judah has justified himself more than um, adulterous Israel, so does the Bible process. So these scripture, the preachers are just justifying the iniquity by saying grace. What about grace? The grace of God is there to cover it up. For your information, grace is not in heaven. Is that clear? Yes, because no one needs it there. Grace only comes where sin is. Sin is not in heaven. You don't need grace there. If somebody has died, grace has finished. That's if it's appointed unto me one to that after dead, there's no more forgiveness. Which means grace this is what? Grace is on earth. But what lives in heaven is truth. Because God is truth. 
I am the way, I am the truth, and I am the life. So God is truth. But for the purpose of the earth, where human beings are, where sin rules, truth will require grace for truth to be accepted, for truth to be practiced, for truth to bring people to heaven. It requires grace. But the most important thing is truth. Is that okay? For God is looking for those who will serve him in spirit and grace. Spirit and truth. Because that's what lives forever. The words that I speak to you, they are spirit and life. They give you eternal life. And they are the, thy word is truth. So, grace is God's help to make you keep the truth. God's help to make you keep the truth. See, you, because you need it for eternal life. That coming to you is grace. But then, the truth is the word I'm preaching now. Grace brought you so that you can keep the truth. So, you, the most important thing is truth. You need grace to help you keep the truth. Now, I ask you, if somebody is sick, they give him drugs and they give him water, which thing heals? Is it the drugs or the water? Huh? Then what's the use of the water? To help you swallow the drugs. But the main thing is truth, is the drugs. So why are you not depending on water alone? Ah, water is there now. Somebody is sick. Ah, water is there. Somebody is sick. Is that water is there? I said I'm going to drink water before. <laughs> is to help you take the drugs and the healing is based on the drugs for you to have life is on drugs but water helps you swallow it so grace helps you to keep the commandments and keeping the commandments are the most important thing at no time is the commandment cancelled in your life for Jesus Christ said, I have not come to cancel the law, but to establish it. Yes. Until heaven and earth shall pass, no judge or teacher shall pass from this until it is fulfilled. But what is it that we say is not effective again? It is the law of commandment of that if a, um, uh, of um, these ceremonial laws of the Jews that the Lord gave them, the Lord has moved that. You don't need it again. You hear what I'm saying? You don't need it again. The ceremonial law is not required. Again. What are the ceremonial law? If a woman is menstruating, let him not come to wear the whole hour. Whoever touches her is unclean. If he touches any pot, that pot is unclean. So she must not touch the pot, she must not cook. That is God. That's, we don't live on touch not. No, we don't do that anymore. We are in a period in which God is giving us help to keep the truth that matters. Not those ones. Or that says, uh, if, you have, uh, if you are cultivating, you should not sow different seeds in the same farm. That's no more. It has no meaning. That's not actually what the Lord wants. He just he brought those one to train people how to keep things, to keep rules. But the most important thing is the world of life. His own world that will, of moral living. Which will bring about righteousness and holiness in his side. Not those ones. Those ones just came as teachers to, learn, to teach you how to keep commandments. 
Now its time has passed. The real time has come for keeping the commandment now. So it's not those things you need to be born. Is that okay? Because commandment is still there. Jesus brought, listen to the Bible in John, John chapter 1. John chapter 1 verse 16. Verse 16. And of his fullness have we all received, and grace for grace. Let's read verse 17. For the law was given by Moses, but grace and truth came by Jesus Christ. Jesus brought what? Grace and truth. Jesus brought what? Grace and truth. Who is Jesus? He is the truth. Is that so? Who is Jesus? He is the truth. Now, does that cancel commandments? No. no. In John chapter 14. John chapter 14. I read verse 15. Or oh, let's read verse 15. One, two, go. If ye love me, Keep my commandments. Can you see plural there? Jesus didn't cancel commandments. So why are these preachers challenging the, the instructions of God's word? If ye love me, what should you do? Keep my commandments. Do you notice S added to that T? Yes. Which means how many commandments? Oh. Ah. There are very many. If you want to put one, two, three, four, ah, uh, ah. Uh, I think the book of Dex, Dex in his commentary tried to list the commandments. There are many. There are many. Is that okay? Now, there's also something. Grace has a teacher. Amen? Amen. Grace has a teacher. Grace has a body of truths that should be imparted. Look at it in Titus chapter 2. Titus chapter 2 verse 11. Here The Bible says, For the grace of God that bringeth salvation hath appeared to how many people? All men. That are all men in Christ today. Grace has appeared to all men. But are all men saved? So why are we not talking only on grace? Grace has a body of truth. Look at verse 12. Verse 12 tells you that grace has a body of truth. Can we read it together? One, two, go. Teaching us that denying ungodliness and worldly loss, we should live soberly, righteously, and godly in this present world. Verse 13, looking for that blessed hope and the glorious appearing of the great God and our Savior Jesus Christ, verse 14, who gave himself for us, that he might redeem us from all iniquity and purify unto himself a peculiar people, sinners of the Lord. Grace the help of God to save people from sin has come to all people. But the people should know what they should be saved from. That's why grace teaches. The people need to know what they should be saved from. 
the Bible says, All power is given unto me in heaven and on earth. Go ye therefore and do what? And teach all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Teaching them to do what? To observe all things. There are many. There are many. Teach them. That's what we're doing. Even that thing you hang on your body that is sparkling light like this, we will teach you that don't use it again. Amen. <laughs> Are you getting it now? It's jewelry. Instead of hanging it in your ear, the devil came and hung it on your throat. Still for sure, as you're moving, it is dazzling. It is worldliness. Still worldliness. But you're not aware. Were you aware before? No. Were you aware before? No. That's when grace has teaching. Then why are people refusing grace? Why are people refusing grace? And the Bible said, we are it. They will be sanctified. And then they will now wait for the glorious appearance. Because without holiness, what will happen? So, grace is there to help you do the teachings to keep you holy and pure for the rapture. Is that okay? Okay. Okay. What my daddy said, I said everything white and white. Okay, yes. I am. This yeah, I've had now, I've understood. Okay. I've understood. Uh, yes, yes. Now, uh, she, you also asked that, why is it that when God takes somebody from, uh, uh, from the white men to heaven to show them revelations, they don't talk about head covering, they don't talk about wearing trousers, but if God takes a blind man, I mean, a black man, to heaven, hey, wearing, <laughs> wearing, you must not wear, and you must not leave your head empty, you must not put on trousers. Why is it so? Yes. But then the question is, are you really very sure it was God that took those, those white men to heaven? Because what Angelica was saying. And you know, I'm honest. Are you, do you believe God took her to heaven? Uh, Just on your own conviction. Do you believe? Because when I compare those things mm -hmm. she was saying, yes. what our mom and Linda was saying, yes. it's the same thing. Very good. Now, do you also believe that God takes people among the blacks to heaven and sure. give them revelation? Sure. Now, stop there. Okay. Uh, let's go to Colossians chapter 4. Now we read it together. Colossians chapter 4, verse 16. 1, 2, go. And when this epistle is read among you, cause that it be read also in the church of the Laodiceans, and that ye likewise read the epistle from Laodicea. Do you understand what the scripture is saying? It too should get incomplete. It came from myself. Because I couldn't repeat the same thing to one man. Is that okay? Are you clear now? Oh, thank you very much. So whether it is Angelica or it is Linda, as long as we know it from God, we need all of them. And we must be all. So, but then we should also see Angelica was a Catholic. Was she? Did they know anything there? Did they teach Jesus there? No. They teach Mary. She was. Angelica was a Catholic. 
truly serious ones. Catholic in a white man's land is more serious than the one in the black. <laughs> and they don't know anything about Mary. No nothing. So you can't even think of teaching. So she has no, she didn't even know Jesus. She didn't know the ways of Jesus. So if her hair was open, if she didn't have the doctrine. Because her environment and God was not looking for someone to, that has, has the doctrine. He was just wanting to give it at random to cause the world to believe. So the fact that revelation was given to her, and uh, Mary Baxter was in her trousers, is that not so? Yeah. Might even be in her trousers today. But then God gave it to her. She should get the one from Africa to get the message complete. Amen. As much as we need her revelation, she needs ours. We need to edify ourselves by her revelation. She needs to edify herself also by our revelation. Because it's coming from one God. Amen.